This morning, Americans from coast to coast are preparing to ring in the new year as severe storms bring heavy snow and drenching rain. This is crazy. Oh, boy. Roads in Colorado reopened after a storm caused a stretch of I-70 to close for nine hours, bringing drivers to a standstill. There has been so many accidents and so many stuck vehicles that I-70 has now been shut down for almost 10 hours. There's been a few people that I think were in the tunnel that were a little worried about uh, carbon monoxide and they had their kind of doors propped up with like a towel in front of them. And on the west coast, an atmospheric river is set to disrupt New Year's travel as new winter storm watches and warnings are posted in Colorado, Utah, Nevada and California. Meanwhile, in blizzard-ravaged western New York, the death toll continues to rise, with 39 deaths now confirmed in the area, and we're learning more about those who lost their lives, including Ladrice Curry, who died after having an asthma attack, the storm slowing rescuers who could not reach her in time. I just want her to know that, like, I loved her, her son loved her, the whole family loved her. And this morning, police in the town of Cheektowaga are looking for this man, who they're calling Merry Christmas Jay. Officers want to thank the man after he pulled people from cars and sheltered them in a nearby school. Heroic actions, they say, saved people's lives. Meanwhile, flooding is now the major concern in the Buffalo area. With temperatures rising, the snow is starting to melt. Officials are clearing storm drains in anticipation of any flooding, and the state is on standby with 800,000 sandbags. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.